What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. So yesterday was a very, very busy day for me where I just cranked out all that Sakura Santa. Like, I don't know how many videos I did, like nearly 18 in a day or something. That was a really busy day for me. But I'm glad to finally be returning to this amazing series because WAS was is really, really amazing. And honestly, a lot of fun for me to play as well. And yeah, uh, what happened in the previous video? Right, um, Tadayoshi, I think he returned to the church apologizing to Rosary and just sort of having a small reunion with everyone there. Even they had the weekly soup kitchen as well and where we got to show off our moves like yeah, show off our muscles, the progress that we've made both physically and mentally because I feel like um, Tadayoshi has been growing a lot both in, in both those two uh, ways. And yeah, uh, his physical strength was a little bit lacking, but that's what we got the training from Lin for, and it definitely seems to be paying off. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, um, at the very end, he sort of suggested weirdly towards Rosary, like, you should come to my room at night and shower beforehand. Like, he meant it in a way like, yeah, I'm going to tell you a story, which is probably going to take long. So it might be better for you to take a shower beforehand. But he didn't say it that way. So Rosary took it in a completely different way. And yeah, I'm imagining that this is going to be quite awkward, but let us continue. I return to my room from a bath and wait for Rosary to show up. Knock knock. Rosary, is that you? Come in. Uh, oh, okay. Rosary is twitching and her face is turning red. She walks in awkwardly too. Is she feeling cold after her bath? You you took a bath too of course i did w well i know you're a boy it's not strange that you're interested in such things but but you know i am a nun and i must keep my chastity with my life what do you mean i have no idea why rosary is so embarrassed so I don't think I can meet your expectations, but that doesn't mean I don't like you. Yes, I don't hate you at all. Wow, those are the nicest words that I've ever heard someone say to me. I don't hate you at all. Thanks, Rosary. Oh well, she must have been misunderstanding. I think I shouldn't have told her to take a bath first. D despite being a sister, I do have an interest in such things. Oh... Uh-huh, so you have an interest. Uh-huh, uh interested in what? You just said so. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Tadayoshi-kun? <laughs> I need to stop this, but it's so much fun to watch Rosary's reactions. I just tried to imitate a situation I saw in a book I read today. Tadayoshi? Kun? Sorry, <laughs> I called you here because I have to tell things to you, or have things to tell you. It's not what you were just thinking. Wh what? It's going to be a long story, and not suitable for children, so I asked you to take a bath first. I is that it? Yes, that's it. Nothing that's in your mind is going to happen. Too bad. Ah. Uh, uh... Rosary puffs her cheeks, and her face turns even more red. Hmm, you are making fun of me! Sorry, I didn't mean to anger you like that. Well, I assume you're going to tell me something important, that uh, uh, some, so important that others shouldn't listen. Yeah, the most dangerous area in the slums has been attacked by someone. Even the people who were good at fighting didn't stand a chance and were almost killed and Lin saw the attacker and she's going after them. That's all I said to Rosary. Everything I know about what happened yesterday. Oh, that happened yesterday. If the attacker comes to the church, I can do nothing about them. So, tell the children not to leave the church for their safety. Okay. I'll keep the children inside the church until the case is solved. And... Rosary pats my head gently. I smell a soft, 
soapy scent from Rosary, along with her normal scent. Those smells comfort me so much. Tadayoshi-kun, you did your best. I know it was hard for you, wasn't it? You wanted to follow Lin, but decided not to follow her for her sake. You held yourself back, didn't you? No, it's just because I'm too weak to help her. That's it. As Rosary pats my head, emotions inside me are about to explode. But I can't cry now. Because Lin told me this before I returned to the church. A man should only cry when his most precious person is lost. Yeah, and Lin is still here, so we can't cry yet. Not that I'm expecting to lose Lin at all, although it was sort of a, not in a sense, like a, a prophecy in a sense or something, but yeah, we had a vision about it as well as the mysterious man sort of said that Lin is meant to die, but let's hope that never happens, please, someone. Days later. Hey, trouble, there's trouble happening. Where are you, Rosene? Hey. You two, what's the rush? We just had lunch, and I'm having an afternoon tea in the chapel. I'm taking my time reading through the newspaper. That's what a refined person does. Tadayoshi, there's no time for that. It's that serious. Yeah, it's very important. Alan and Myrna are too panicked for me to find out what's going on. Okay, just calm down. Hmm? What's going on over here? They all look so hurried. What happened? Rosary and Julia come out from the back room. As soon as Alan and Myrna see them, they start to run over. It saddens me a bit to see them run like that. Rosane! 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 A very serious major trouble is happening! Calm down, you two. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Feel better now? So, tell me what happened. I saw a suspicious person outside. Yes, it's a tall woman. She's wandering around the church. Lynn, please let it be Lynn. <gasps> As I hear what Alan and Myrna are saying, I quickly give a, a signal to Rosary with my eyes. Rosary noticed my signal and nods slightly at me. Alan, Myrna... Julia, return to your rooms, now! Oh no, why do we have to go back? Just listen to me, don't forget to lock the doors, understood? As the children see Rosary talking to them with a serious face, they get quiet in no time. B but I'm worried about you, Rosane. You don't have to worry, Julia. I'm with her, the prince to the rescue. Yeah, Tadayoshi is no longer weak, so Rosane should be alright. Tadayoshi, you are Rosane's prince, so be sure to protect her, okay? Of course, I will try to protect Rosary from anything. Tadayoshi-kun... Rosary looks at me with a blush on her cheeks. Did I say something that made her embarrassed? Well, that's not important now. I'll go out and look around, so you guys should return to your room like Rosary said. The children nod and return to their rooms. Now, I hide a pair of wooden tomfas under my clothing, then I stretch myself a bit. It's possible that the suspicious person could be too strong for me, but I will try to buy enough time for Rosary to run if that's the case. I'm, I'm hoping that it's Lynn. They said a tall woman, right? So that is a, as close of a description in two words as it comes to Lynn. So let's hope so. Hmm. Where's the suspicious person Alan and Myrna mentioned? I look around from near the door. Who the hell is that? And I find a woman standing awkwardly by the entrance. Huh? I carefully look at her. I think she is as tall as Lin. She is slender, uh, slender and has big breasts and hips with a slim waist. Her body looks really good. 
She looks pale and seems to be panicked. I don't think I've seen her before. I didn't see her at the soup kitchens or on the running path. I don't know, her clothes doesn't make it look like a person that would, you know, come visit the soup kitchen or live here anywhere in the slums. So she must be from outside of this particular part of town. She must come from somewhere else or is possibly a wealthy person. Tadayoshi-kun, are you alright? Okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but... Rosary follows me out of the church as if she is concerned about me. Hey, isn't she the person Ala and Myrna, Myrna told me about? I think so. Have you seen her before? Not a single time. But considering her nice clothing, she's not from here. Rosary doesn't know her either. I think I'll have to make something happen. Hey, you! Over there! What do you want from the church? <laughs> I decide to talk to her. Oh, oh, what? I, I'm looking for my son, and I think that he could be visiting the church to play with the children there. Oh no, are children around here being kidnapped? I beckon Rosary closer to the woman and me. She's looking for her last son. Sorry, but I haven't seen a boy come to play with the children. When did you realize that your son was missing? Uh, about an hour ago, I think. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to say I, that I was relieved because I had another thought on my mind. Because, um, but yeah, it actually seems to be a really bad thing as well. So I actually shouldn't be relieved because the situation is still bad. But what I originally thought uh, that this woman was, was... That she says she was looking for her boy or that she thought the, her boy was here. And for some reason that made me think that this could, this could be Alan's mother or something. And that, I mean, we don't know Alan's backstory that well, right? Or at least if... I don't think Rosary told us that much about his parents. And if she did, I completely forgot. So my bad. But yeah, for some reason it just, that thought came to mind that she might be Alan's... Uh, mother and she came to take him back and I'm like no don't tear my family apart but uh, yeah apparently another bad possibility or yeah bad thing has happened that her child was kidnapped here dang so they're actually coming closer right before it was uh, near two towns very very close to here but now they're actually doing the kidnapping here in the slums as well Tadayoshi kun let's help her then Rosary whispers to me I think it's possible that the kidnapper could have taken her son. I am Rosary Winslet, and I am a nun of this church. And this is... Tadayoshi. I live in a church with Rosary and the children, helping them. Rosary and Tadayoshi. Okay. Rosary let the woman enter the church, as she thought we wouldn't stand outside or shouldn't stand outside talking. Then we introduced ourselves to each other. So, can you explain your situation? How did your son disappear? I came here with my son to run errands, but he disappeared when I looked away from him for a moment. I think that he was attracted to the curiousness of the slums and wandered off from his mother. Or... Hey, was there anyone suspicious nearby? No. I didn't see anyone like that. Okay, no suspicious people were around them. I have to ask her different questions then. Can you tell me your son's name? And do you have a photo or something to identify him? His name is you. I have this photo right here. She takes a photo out of her purse. Hmm, he looks as young as Alan and Myrna. He's so shy of people. So when I think that he could be crying alone somewhere... Oh. The woman covers her face with both hands and starts to cry. I can feel her concern for him. The slums are one of the most dangerous areas in Japan. Tadayoshi-kun... He may be in bigger trouble if he wandered into an at-risk area. Please calm down. 
We'll help you find Yukun. I will contact you as soon as we find him. So you should tell me your contact information. <laughs> Excuse me. I am Reika Higure. I live in the eastern district of the city. You live in the eastern district? Understood. I will look for your son. Leave this to me. Oh, thank you so much. How can I repay you? You don't need to thank us. It's our rightful duty to help someone in trouble. Tadayoshi kun. Rosary looks at me with teary eyes. Hey, I just copied what you always say. I think you should return home now. You could get a notice about him there. <laughs> You're right. Understood. Higure leaves the church, her shoulders drooping in disappointment. I'll look around here before the sun sets. W wait I'll go with you. Come on, I'm going to enter the at-risk area. You know how dangerous it is there. Tadayoshi-kun, do you know who I really am? Oh my god, she's gonna reveal that she's Wonder Woman. I think you already know how important I am to the people in this place. I know. Let's go look for him together. Oh, I think she, she meant to say like, or what she actually meant was that because of her reputation, people just don't mess with her. They don't, she's, she's untouchable basically, but that's just because of her reputation, not because of her strength, because she actually is so helpful to everyone here, right? People wouldn't even dare to hurt her. That's basically it. It will be suicide if you live here and try to mess with Rosary, because doing so may cause the soup kitchens in the church to stop, and no one wants that to happen. So it would be the safest idea to go with Rosary. It's kind of interesting, you know, a another way of sort of having a bodyguard. Just solely on reputation, not on strength. It's been a while since we've been here. I haven't been going to the at-risk area of the slums. Not after the day that incident happened. <sighs> Rosary-kun or Tadayoshi-kun, you walk too fast. Rosary follows after me while losing her breath. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I think I hurried a bit too much. <sighs> I hate to admit it, but the tables have turned between you and me. I'd lose my breath faster than Rosary if I hadn't started training with Linz months ago. I can see that my stamina has greatly improved from the training. Uh, now, where should we start looking? Go to the stalls, go to the gambling place, or go to Lin's place? Um, oh god. The, the thing is, yeah, we're, we're supposedly looking out for the little boy, right, that is lost. But I am so curious about what has happened to Lin and if she's doing okay because I'm so worried. That I'm really tempted to just say like, oh, we're close to Lin's place. Let's just, you know, go past there and then we'll look for the child after that. The child will still be missing after, you know, after we visited Lin's place. But that's such a cruel thing to say. I shouldn't say that. Not with a nun present at least. But still, I kind of want to go to Lin's place. Stalls or Lin's place? Hmm. The gambling place is kind of like, eh. Probably, I don't know, that could be a good place to look as well. Yeah, you know what, I'm just going to Lin's place. I can't resist it. Hey, isn't this Lin's place? Yeah, I think we should ask her to help us. Lin is definitely the right person to ask. That's right. It's been a while since I visited her. I entered a house without knocking, as I know she often leaves the door unlocked at this time. I'm well aware of that. Hey, Lin, are you here? Wh what are you thinking, Tadayoshi-kun? You're trespassing into a girl's house. It's Lin. I don't think she cares about that. Aww, you still lack the delicacy to care about someone. What would you do if you found her while she's changing clothes? No problem. Lin isn't so careless as to be caught off guard like that. Actually, I never saw her changing clothes while I was living with her and we tried really hard to catch her. I think it's because she knew you were living with her. Uh-huh. 
I wonder if that is true. Well, that's not important for now. Lin! Hello! Are you not here? I go into the back of the room, looking for Lin. The place is silent, and I can't feel a presence of anyone inside. I can't even find a trail of Lin coming back here. Maybe she hasn't returned home since I parted ways with her. Oh no. Does that mean she is still going after the attacker? I'm getting worried about Lin. Lin is not here, so we should visit somewhere else. Oh, there's a chance that I could meet the boy I'm looking for. Stalls or gambling place? Um, little boys like horses, right? So stalls might be a good place to look. The gambling place is kind of like if a little boy get, goes there and gets lost, I don't think there's a huge chance of him coming back out alive considering the people that, you know, the people in the slums that are always gambling and whatnot. Yeah, we know those people. So I think uh, if we were to find him, the stalls might be a good idea to, to check first. Master, you're still alive! We went to the street stalls. The master of the stall has seen many people here, so he should know something. Of course! It hurts like shit, but I'll be better in a while with some drinks and rests. The master is repairing his stall with his whole body bandaged. I'm relieved to see him being able to move. And you brought the nun here in the daytime, huh? Boy, you're more than I expected. <laughs> Hey, it's nothing like that. I'm here to ask you something. Have you seen this boy around here today? I showed the master the photo I borrowed from Higure. Hmm, I don't think I've seen him around here. Okay, so will you take care of him when you see him? I want to say not for free, but since it's for you, I'll take care of the boy when I see him. Thanks, I can still trust you with this. What do you mean by still? The master of the stall talks harshly, but he's a caring person. I am sure he's never acted violently towards children. T tadayoshi kun you're impressive. Huh? Impressive in what way? You talked imposingly to a person with such intimidating looks. I'm seeing you in a new light. It's because many things happen between them and me. No leads here. Let's move on to the next place. Oh no. The only place possible is the gambling place. Yeah. Is it just me or am I the only one having a bad feeling about this? Oh no. As we enter the gambling place, there are some people with bandages all over their bodies, and some are leaning on crutches. It looks like a field hospital. Hey, you guys, are you recovering? Uh, are you recovered enough to gamble like that? The wounds must be too serious for them to move freely, but they are still gambling. Of course, boy. We can't live without gambling for money and stuff. Stuff like bandages and antiseptics are expensive, damn it. That attack is gonna pay for this! Everyone seems to be angry about the attack. They are recovered enough if they're getting angry like that, I think. Oh, it's you! My Tada Yoshi Kyun! You're alive too! Glad to see you're better than I thought. That won't kill me! And I'm not only better, but also boner when I think of you! What? <laughs> what? That sentence made no sense, and yeah. I don't want to hear that. Wait, is Lin not with you today? Yeah, things happened. I thought that Lin might be visiting here, but she isn't here it seems. And you bought a, brought a bitch from the church, didn't you? I thought you had finally realized how good men are. Tadayoshi-kun, who is this? He just called me a bitch. Don't take his words seriously. It's nothing but word noise. Well, that aside, did you see someone like this? I showed a man in a jumpsuit the photo of you. Oh, what a cute boy he is. A promising youngster indeed. 
I'll take that as a no. I really hope that he doesn't find you. Yeah, you would probably be in more trouble with the man in the jumpsuit than being kidnapped by the masked man or something. Guys, are you familiar with the boy in this photo? Huh? Let's see him. The people in the gambling place start to gather. Kid, are you looking for that boy? I'll help you look for him if you let that nun spend the night with me. <laughs> What? S spend the night with you? Rosary's face turns red in anger as soon as she hears that response. I'm telling you, Rosary is a friend of Lynn. If you mess with her, you know what's going to happen. Ah, yikes! You should have told us that earlier that she's a friend of Lynn. Now, has anyone seen this boy anywhere? Everyone shakes their head. It's so awesome. You can just sort of say, yeah, I'm a friend of Lin, and then bam, nobody in the slums can do anything to you. So, nobody has seen him. By the way, have you heard of anything about the Pied Piper? Huh? I remember it from the newspaper I read. I can't believe that I get to hear about it here. Come on, can you tell me more about the Pied Piper? I only heard about it from a friend of a neighbor, uh, neighboring prefecture. That, uh, that there's a spate of children abductions happening there. And a person in a strange mask was seen wandering around. Strange mask, huh? I remember that someone who hit me last night wore a strange mask. I just glanced at it before I passed out. So I can't be sure about it. Damn it. If the person who attacked you last night is the same person you mentioned, he or she could be doing the criminal or could be the criminal committing the abductions. I have no evidence, but I think that the person in the strange mask could be both the attacker and the kidnapper. If so, the kidnapper must be hiding in the city. The missing boy could be in danger. We must find him before it's too late. Apparently Lin hasn't been home yet at all, and I don't think anyone has seen her yet either. So that makes me even more worried about her now. Like we s remember seeing that flash forward or whatever, like the, the butterfly vision, where she was sort of dying or already dead. I just hope to god that that is not what has happened. But yeah, we're gonna end this video here, we just gotta go to the next video to try and figure out what the hell is is happening because oh god Lynn please don't die I need you we all need you we can't live without you I mean sure we have rosary but you know she is the most precious person to us and I don't feel like crying not yet at least so you know I don't want my most precious person to not be here anymore so Lynn you better be here next video but yeah i'm gonna end this here thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video peace